welcome to Learn C Lesson 8. Um, this is about user input. This lesson is about being able to have the user interact with the computer program, not just the computer programmer. And this is on our way to learning about files. So let's start a new project. Console application. And instead of cutting and pasting, I'm just going to rewrite everything. Then I'm going to do the for loop. So, so this is in this section. So this is the thing. So now we're going to assign the variables, but instead of just saying a sub 0 equals 3, a sub 1 equals 5, a sub, a sub 2 equals 8, I want to have the user be able to input it while the program is actually running. So the way to do that is with the scanf statement. Scanf percent g, and then and a sub 0. And scan f percent percent b e and a sub one Okay, so that's how you would have the user interfa interface with the computer program with the scanf statement. Scan means scanning the console in this case, and then it gives you a string percent character. 
Now, I could have used percent %f there because we want a floating point number. There are different types of percent characters. There's percent %f, percent %e, exponential format, so if I wanted to enter it as an exponential format, and then percent %g, which is wildcard. Percent %g is entering a number however you want to enter a number, a floating point number, however you want to enter a floating point number. So that's really... Um, that's really what percent %g is. It gives the user the option of entering something other than 3.0. They could have said 3.0e to the 0, right, in, in exponential format, and it still would have worked. The ampersand is, boy, is that a long conversation and what that does and everything. We're going to get into that much, much later, hopefully. Um, but for right now, um, printf doesn't need the ampersand scan f does. That's all we need to know for now. That's just a rule. So put an ampersand in front of the variable name um, in order to make scan f work. All right, let's run it. Hmm. What's going on? Oh, it's waiting for me to enter the numbers. Three. Eight. Boy, that's not user friendly at all. I had to know what's there. So I need to add some user friendliness uh, to it, right? So above each one, I'll say to be better. That ought to look a little bit better. And I might put another backslash in there. So there's two um, returns there. And I might put a might put a backslash n in front of here to put another space between the entering and the, the actual output just to make it look a little prettier. Cool. All right, let's try that. This is a program that takes averages in order. Enter the first number, three. Enter the second number, five. Return. I'm pressing return every time. Eight. Five point three three. Looks good. So there it is. That's how you have the user interact uh, with the console by entering a new number. Now, if we um, if we wanted to do three completely different numbers, all we'd have to do is rerun the program. We wouldn't have to recompile the program into the new numbers, recompile everything. So it could be used for all sorts of things. This is not a particularly um, a useful program. Scanf is useful sometimes when you want to enter things in. By and large, we want to do it through a file. So this printf scanf statement is really um, just the beginning of how to enter data into a file. That comes next lesson. Thank you.